good evening students welcome to the statistics class in the previous session we had dealt with uh, introduction and origin and development of statistics some contributions to the field of statistics by eminent personalities such as uh, sir ronald a fisher and dr prasant chandra mahal nobis uh, we had dealt with the definitions of statistics that is statistics in plural sense that is statistics as a numerical statement of facts and statistics as statistical methods in terms of singular sense we also had dealt with the characteristics of uh, statistics and uh, definition of statistics given by different scholars in today's class we shall look at some important functions of uh, statistics so let us look at them one by one the first function states that statistics presents the facts in definite form <coughs> so as we know that the first step of statistics is collection of the data so when you are collecting the data it will be a voluminous huge and bulky data so with the help of statistical methods we can uh, bring that voluminous bulky data to a precise form for example if you are trying to understand or study the crime rate of a particular state locality or country then saying statements like there is a lot of crime in the country or locality does not make any sense lot means how much so there has to be a number right so applying statistics gives you a number so if you have a data of 10 years of crime records so you can compare them year wise so you can make some conclusions on the data <coughs> on the phenomena using the numbers so if you say like the crime rate in 2019 has increased by 2% as compared to 2018 so now it makes sense that crime rate has been increasing in the year 2019 as compared to the previous year so with the help of statistics you can present the facts in a definite form this is the meaning of first point let us look at the second point statistics simplifies and condenses the size of the data this point is correlated to the first one that is the huge voluminous and bulky data is reduced to a short simple tabular form of the data so which will make it easier for a layman a common man to understand the data okay third point it facilitates comparison so <coughs> like i told you in the example of the first point suppose you have 10 years of data of crime records so if you want to understand the pattern whether there is an increase or decrease in the crime <coughs> rate so you can compare the crime rate of all the 10 years that is from 2010 to 2020 so you can compare and try to understand whether the crime rate has increasing or it has been decreasing or it has been stable so given any data you can compare them next fourth point is statistics enriches our knowledge and widens our experience so while studying the data thoroughly you come across many points and many <coughs> ba arguments basis on the basis of which you can come to a conclusion a proper conclusion so studying the data using statistical techniques makes you <coughs> realize many things it enriches your knowledge and it also widens your experience of analyzing the data next fifth point statistics helps in formulating policies so uh, in our central government there is a ministry called ministry of statistical planning and implementation mospi so the important function of this ministry is to 
provide information based on the data analyzed by them to the different central government policies that are going to be formulated so statistical techniques helps in formulating the policies it may be of the government or it may be of any private company or etc etc so suppose in the sector of insurance so whatever the plans they are showing you in the advertisements they all are devised and designed using statistical analysis of the data available with them to whom to whom they want to cater it and what is their purpose everything is done before advertising it so statistics helps in formulating policies next sixth one statistics helps in business forecasting so various techniques of statistics such as time series index numbers interpolation extrapolation all these techniques are hugely helpful in predicting the future events so in business in the field of business we observe that uh, today a lot of uh, online shopping portals like say flipkart or amazon they devise different different programs for the customers for example uh, flipkart is uh, organizing big billion day so they have a certain idea in their mind so using their previous uh, business data and uh, other experiences they devise a program called big billion day so they want to understand whether after big billion day their sales are going to increase their company will sell through <coughs> with lot of sales what until the next occasion arrives so this is how statistics helps in business forecasting and the last point is statistics helps in framing and testing hypothesis so hypothesis means an assertion or an assumption that is a statement made about a phenomena suppose you are a manufacturer you are manufacturing a fertilizer so you as a producer claim that your fertilizer is better than the existing one in the market so that's a statement made by you as a producer so that statement will be tested and analyzed and checked whether your statement is whether your statement holds true or not if not 100% then till what extent does your uh, statement holds true so there will be two assumptions made here one assumption is that uh, there is no difference between the effectiveness of the old fertilizers available and the new fertilizers produced by you this statement will be tested against your statement that the fertilizer produced by you is better than the existing ones so data will be collected that is the performance of the uh, existing fertilizers and the performance of the fertilizer produced by you will be tested and based on the results the conclusions will be drawn and the inference will be made whether your fertilizer is better or not so these are some of the basic functions of statistics